Let's try a surface area problem. The area of the bottom of a box is a square and is 200 centimeters squared. So here it's nice to draw a box. It's nice to know how to sketch a box in 3D. But if I were to draw this, and what we have here is this bottom area is 200 centimeters squared. And so is the top, by the way. So the entire area is 200 centimeters squared. Now we know that this is a square, so we can just indicate this using these little dashes. But this side times this side is 200, and these sides are equal. So x times x is 200. So x would be the square root of 200. The actual width here is the square root of 200. And so would this side be. This side would also be square root of 200. Now the height is going to be double the width of the base. So this h, the height here, is going to be 2 times the square, the square root of 200. Solve the lateral area of the box to the nearest centimeter squared. Now the word lateral means side only. So we're not interested in the top and bottom areas. We're interested in the four sides, front, back, left, and right. So what we have here are four identical rectangles. If we know the area of one of these, we could simply multiply by 4 to find the area of the entire lateral, which is what the question is. So let's focus on one of these boxes here. So I'm going to say the area of the lateral is equal to 4 times the area, and I'm going to call this the front of the front. What is the front? The area of the front is going to be the base, which is 2 square root of 200 times the height, which is 2 root 200. And so using your calculator, you can compute out the answer, but you can also do this in your head. 4 times 2 is 8 times the square root of 200 times the square root of 200 is 200. And so the final answer is 1,600. And we're talking about the unit centimeter squared. So the key for this question is to focus on the meaning of area. Area of a square is going to be length times width, and in this case, they're both the same. So being able to go back from the area versus the actual side length, please don't confuse these two numbers. And when you're given that a certain height or some unknown side is going to be two or three or four times bigger than another, we actually do know what the height of this box is. And finally, just be aware of what the word lateral means. Lateral means sides only, not including the top and bottom.